Hello everyone, I'm Jaybird and you're watching SG Trader. Friends, most of the people are using the free version. So in, there is a one restriction that you cannot use more than three indicator if you are using a free version. Unless if you go for the premium one, then there are the different way that five indicator, 10 and all, and there are uh, unlimited as well. So uh, if you are struggling into multiple use of the indicator, so in this video, you are the right place that I will explain you how you can merge the indicator and then you can utilize the more like you can say the space so in this video please be with me all the way that you will learn something and definitely you can use for your better improvement in your trading skill as well so you can have multiple indicator within this three indicator so let's go for this how we can uh, merge this indicator so what we do like you know there are the three two ways that you can do the first is overlay over the uh, on the chart and the second always we see like MACD, RSI, all over that there is a separate channel create for that indicator. So first uh, uh, in today's first part I'll go through with this the second that means the MFI and RSI I will take it as an example that how you can merge for this indicator that you can deploy together means MFI and RSI you can deploy together and then you can see that which direction is moving. The second video uh, if you like this content then please comment for that and like this video so i'll come out with this second uh, video for that how you can put on the on the chart that means if you want to use vweb you want to use multiple like super trend or else if you want to use vweb plus moving average plus the super trend that all the combined you can use in the under the one indicator which is comes under your name so you can use that for so let's begin with this so here what you need to do first is that you here uh, i do not have any more indicator here except that's one i use so i'll go first here i'll look for mfi so i'll click over here so as you can see over here uh, the mfi indicator what i'll do next is here you can see three dots click over there source code so once you get the code here you have here you can see right so you need to do it just on a copy all from here okay then you can go over here new blank indicator so it will open for you the new blank so in that case from here because we copy from version 5 so we just replace that so now you have this mfi money flow index oh, the indicator and everything is here you don't need to change anything unless you want to change the uh, time frame this is the default value 14 here only you need to change like me what i'm following i follow 10 so i'll change over here but later you can change in your setting also so it's okay if you are not comfortable with this you can just ignore and just copy paste only the main thing you want to see is that here the time frame gaps and all right make sure that what you are copying it's for the here the second frame you cannot mix with mfi cannot mix with vweb because the two thing is different one is overlap on the chart the second is there is a different is panel right there you can see this is considered a second panel this is your chart so we are merged with only the similar indicator means if it's rsi always here mfi uh, ADX these are the all indicator create in this lower the uh, panel other like MF moving average VWAP all are display on the chart so now today we are working on this panel so now I'm looking for RSI so what I'll do first I'll save this one because I need to go again for the chart one so I'll put here MFI RSI I'll just save this first okay so now i'll again i'll go back i'll delete this go again over here and look for rsi okay release relative strength it's an updated version so i already deployed here what i'll do again the same thing source code when i'll get this source here from where I need to copy, I don't need to copy because I already put the title over there. So I don't need all this detail. I only need this detail starting from here. So at the end, I'll copy. All right now I go and open my MFI RSI. 
so now we are back to our script so I'll here enter and paste so he once I'll paste here that means this both indicator comes under the one so now let's see first I'll save and then I'll drag down and I'll close this okay so now we already merged now I want to put on this chart so I'll do add to chart so do, okay so now you can see the both indicator it's in the merge one but now it looks like a mess here right so what you can do you go over here all right so now here is MFI RSI all the things over here so what I'll do I'll change this MFI black line if you want to change the thickness also you can do that and if you want the different the like if you want to put the bar histogram then you can choose this is the MFI and if you want to keep the line you can keep this line or else step line also you can do whichever the convenient for you that you can select for that so I'll just leave it as a line over here this blue line I'll change to risk and and this is a new one this is like a moving average if you want to keep this moving average for RSI that you can keep if you don't want just untick then is one consider as upper Bollinger band if you need Bollinger if you don't need just ignore overboard 80 that is because here is all the different one RSI and all so here you can do one thing keep it as the same overboard and oversold so you don't have more line okay middle one we don't need if you need you can keep if you don't need just ignore all right and you click here line I'm sure you know all this uh, how to adjust the color and also I'm not going to be take more time on that but I'll remove this background what I'm doing that's I'm uh, showing you okay and I don't want this also so now here I'll okay so you can see here now your MFI and RSI both on the one indicator which will allow you to easy understand that and you can have use only one indicator so here if you want to use ADX that you can also add so make sure you know try to get the indicator which are moving on the same uh, parameter parameter means like this one RSI MFI that parameter is 0 to 100 if I'll put here MF uh, ADX will not be come because the ADX is different 0 to 25 and all so here you need to find what the parameter is match that you can combine so this is the way you can use it and i'm sure you like this also and you can amend whatever you want you can change the line like if you want to change the color on top right so you can go over here this is the color if you want to overboard just put the red color and this is the line also dotted and all second if you want to go for oversold this is also I'll put the same color on the green by oops this one supposed to be this color and right okay so now on this chart you can see it's under your name here name you can put anything yeah so if you want to change over name here what you can do uh, okay you can go to your pine script here here is what money flow index here you can put your name index like if your name is something like Patel or like me J so I can put J index here JFI so when I'll put over there the people if they want this indicator it comes under JFI so if you want to publish you can publish your script and if you want to just use for yourself you can use it for yourself like me what I'm doing I have a few indicator which I'm using only for myself so I'll leave it as a save whatever change I want I'll just do it over here and then I am using for myself but if you want to give it to people then you can just publish and give other people so friends I hope you like it this small video and hope this content will help you to make it more indicator combine merge in a one indicator thank you guys for watching this video see you in the next video take care bye bye